Hey, did you know that your voice could change the world? If you had 15 words and 15 seconds, what would you say to this beautiful place we call home? Would you compose a message of love and not hate? Would you spread cheer throughout the innermost crevices of the earth? Would you construct a message that could inspire a generation? I just sharted. <laughs> Are you serious? What? Join Wordy today and change tomorrow. Hey kids, I got a story for you. It's about a young man who grows up in the inner city of Detroit. And he has to navigate all the traps. It goes like this. Picture a scrawny kid in a math class. He struggles with algebra with his dumb aspirations to be greater than most though. Never so dope. You can catch him in cheap clothes. Like to play ball outside but was last picked. On second thought, he was never picked. He played defense. Imaginary friends, he would rap to them walking home. He passed a group of girls who he thought looked quite grown. They were loudly cheering, trying to get his attention. But he was so afraid, didn't pay them attention They waved him off, got mad, cursed him out as they left He didn't fret them girls because mama was best Fly soon, boy, cocoon One day you'll fly, one day real soon Stay safe, young boy, in your cocoon Grow trees Fly, be, one day you'll grow, way past the trees, and be a beautiful butterfly, high as can be. Now picture that same kid from the math class, he's gotten older, peach fuzz and a few abs. He's changed his swag, often joking, in a high school class, J's on his toes, he used those to attract the holes in this throwback Michael Jordan jersey. The girls were always jocking, some of them called him Hershey, a chocolate thunder, a sexy chocolate didn't matter. He started selling candy, only made his wallet fatter, it gets blurry thereafter, but I think he started smoking, and began pushing and crack, you can say that he was open. He learned lots of lessons, even almost went to jail. And kept a firearm, cause he was scared as hell. Fly soon, boy, cocoon. One day you'll fly, one day real soon. Stay safe, young boy, in your cocoon. Grow trees, fly. Be. One day you'll grow way past the trees and be a beautiful butterfly, high as can be. That same young man that songs the hood, he understood the game, it all was changed up his ways. A genius leaves the block, you bet he's on his way. If he didn't change his path, he'd be dead today. Packed all his things and went the college route Like screw jail, all the honeys go the college route He was right, he was seeing ladies left and right What a sight, butterfly spread your wings tonight But anyway, off topic, he soared through college like a rocket dude Made his mama proud, he could feel her looking down See she died two years prior due to cancer That almost wrecked his world, he kneeled and prayed for answers And heard fly Soon, boy, cocoon. One day you'll fly, one day real soon. Stay safe, young boy, in your cocoon. Grow trees, fly, be. One day you'll grow way past the trees and be a beautiful butterfly, high as can be. Alright, kids, that's the end of my story. I really hope you enjoyed it. You too can be somebody. And don't worry, that kid I was talking about, he went on to live happily ever after. Hey people, this is Rick. So while Googling myself, I kept going through the Google pages and I landed on like page nine or 10 and I found a video about me. It is a fabrication. I have not figured out who made the video. But whoever that person is, I hope you're watching this. Please find something else to do. Thank you. Attention viewer, you are being deceived. Rick Dodon is not who you think he is. At first glance, 
Rick Dodon appears to be a rapper who creates content for his viewers and fans, but the rabbit hole goes much deeper than that. Rick Dodon's true identity is linked to the holy battle that took place when Lucifer, an early minister of music in heaven, planned to rebel against God. Upon discovery, God ordered the archangel Michael to do battle with Satan and his demon followers. The angels overcame Satan and his army and cast them to earth. Once on earth, Satan sought revenge against God by infiltrating the minds of his children on earth. This holy battle still wages in the daily decisions of humans each day. One day, Satan sought to tempt Jesus, the very Son of God, with riches untold. However, Satan's plan failed as Jesus was too strong for Satan's deception. Even so, Satan continued his assault on God's children, offering them unimaginable riches if they would deny God and carry out his wicked plans. Satan eventually constructed a secretive group called the Illuminati. The Illuminati started as a group of intellectuals and bankers who believed that science was God. As so, they were against the church. Today, the Illuminati has spread to various facets of media like music and film. They fund individuals who are willing to deceive their fans for demonic rank and stature. These demonic deceivers are easy to spot. If ever an actor, politician, or musician covers one eye, dresses like a demon, wear demon horns, wear goth makeup while performing said gestures, mocks God or Christian religion, show the six and three score symbol, wear demon-like prosthetics, or pose with a snake, then you know that their primary mission is to deceive you and turn you away from your true father, God. For years I have waited patiently for God's response to the devil's tactics, and I now know the truth. God has created a special army of men and women to wage war against Satan and his followers. This group is called the Swave. Swave is believed to be a mixture of the words spirit or spiritual and wave. For example, the Swave will attack demonic forces like a spirit wave overtaking Satan's principalities, powers, and agendas. In this video, I will prove that the leader of this group is Rick Dodon. Rick Dodon was born in Detroit, Michigan to Rick and Don Knox. Rick Dodon's mother was a book-smart businesswoman who was no stranger to literature and academics. Rick Dodon's father, Rick Sr., was street smart and taught Rick Dodon how to survive in the Detroit jungle, better known as Southwest Detroit. If you ever wondered why Rick Dodon seems both streetwise and educated, his upbringing is why. Rick Dodon's mother, Dawn, first introduced Rick Dodon to Christ at the tender age of 11. Still, Rick Dodon rebelled when he got older and gravitated more and more into the street life. After countless brushes with violence and danger, Rick Dodon eventually reverted back to his Christian roots. He realized that there was a calling on his life and that if he did not make a change, he might not live to regret it. Rick Dodon details these events in episodes 22 and 23 of the Really Hood podcast. Growing up, I lived with my mother. My father was always in my life. One day out of the clear blue sky, my mother say, Richie, you and Kiki, put y'all some clothes on. I'm probably about the age of 11 or 12. So she said, put some clothes on, we're going to church. So no matter how far I diverge from my Christian beliefs, I always had this, this, this sinking feeling in my body like, you know you're doing wrong. It got so dangerous in my neighborhood where every day I had to get on my knees and just thank the Lord for being alive. I'm like, Lord, I don't know how I made it to this Sunday where all this stuff is going on in the hood, but I thank you. Going wild came with a lot of side effects that I did not see in the fine prints. And I said, I get it, Lord. I hear it. I'm out of here. Spoken like a true member of the Swave. Did you notice how openly Rick Dodon spoke about his belief in Christ? Your favorite entertainers would never speak this candidly about their religious beliefs. Nevertheless, this next part is important, so pay close attention. Like the Illuminati, the Swave also have signs and signals they use to show their allegiance. For example, Swave members might do things like, form the number 7 with their fingers, bow their heads and close their hands as if in prayer, interlock their fingers as a display of gratefulness to God, wear religious jewelry, clothing, or artifacts showing their allegiance to the Christian faith, stretch their arms out in honor of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, wear the Air Jordan shoe to symbolize Jesus' baptism in the Jordan River, or openly mock Satan and his minions. Got it? Here's a test. How many hidden swave symbols are present in this thumbnail? I'll give you a second. If you guess three, you are correct. The G on Rick Dodon's hat is a reference to God or Jehovah Jireh. The closed prayer hands was easy to spot, right? But did you see the character on the left secretly forming the number 7 with his left hand? In this example, the 7 is upside down, but make no mistake, it's meant to be a 7. The number 7 is very important within the Christian faith. It is a number that many Christians believe is significant to God. For example, God created the earth in six days, 
and rested on the seventh. Can you spot the number seven in this picture? I'll give you a second. There it is. As the alleged leader of the Swave, Rick Dedan is an expert at Swave signs and symbolism. Wait, did you catch that? I'll rewind it. This time, watch Rick Dedan's fingers. The number seven. This level of secrecy is how the Swave have been able to operate undetected for decades. Since we're here, let's observe Rick Dedan's Detroit G's music video. I discovered over 20 hidden Swave references in this video alone. We can start with the fact that Rick Dedan is openly mocking the Illuminati by dropping the video in a Masonic temple. Though the Illuminati and the Freemasons are not the same, it's still worth noting for the sake of this video. After combing through the Detroit G's music video, here's what I found. Notice how Rick Dedan spells God using the Freemason artifact and his Detroit Tigers baseball cap. One of Swave members' primary goals is to draw humans closer to God. Sometimes they do so subliminally as to avoid scaring people off. Here, Rick Dedan is wearing religious jewelry, a clear-cut sign of Swave affiliation. You might also notice that Swave members wear their wedding bands. They do this to honor God's marital laws. While Illuminati members push the gay agenda, Swave members advocate for holy matrimony. This next piece of evidence comes from Rick Dedan's own mouth. Praise be to God, you know I'm with that. A devil touch me, I'm a hit back. Have you ever heard such words from a hip hop artist? Praise be to God, you know I'm with that. A devil touch me, I'm a hit back. You haven't, and it's solely because Rick Dedan is the leader of the Swave. Next, I'll further prove my allegations with undeniable evidence from Rick Dedan's Hellraiser music video. Hellraiser is the most devastating diss against Satan that I've ever heard. Rick Dedan's Hellraiser video suggests that he's been here before. In the video, Rick Dedan starts as a lowly laborer taking a break in the woods when someone starts firing at him. The laborer runs away and stumbles upon a time portal. Having nothing to lose, the laborer jumps into the portal, traveling to the future where he lands in a church, boasting great power, confidence, and fearlessness. It is at this point, Rick Dedan utters some of the most blatant and audacious rap lyrics I've ever heard pointed at Satan. Listen to these clips pulled directly from Rick Dedan's Hellraiser video. Did it hell raise a demon slayer, no kitten be. Rick Dedan immediately goes on the offensive calling himself a demon slayer. Listen. Yeah. I solemnly swear this, this ain't a diss. But if you follow Satan, drink holy piss. Jump off a cliff, skydive off the moon to a fiery pit. Yeah, that's it. Laugh now, cry later, dark angel. We running it. Did you catch that? In this verse, Rick Dedan instructs followers of Satan to skydive off the moon into a fire pit. Listen. Is it me or do these devils think I'm playing? No tears on my face, still down to do the race. So my soul to God, now I'm counting the Franklins. Rick Dedan openly tells you in the song that he sold his soul to God. This line is most likely inspired by 1 Corinthians 6 and 20, which says, You were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God with your body. If you are still skeptical about Rick Dedan's involvement in the Swave, this next part will leave no doubt. Listen. Get it. You can't kill a man that's in tune with God, cause when the flesh dies, the soul flies. Good luck, you trust in the king of lies. Besides, let's rumble. Tell Satan if I ever see him, draw. If you're wondering if Rick Dedan just threatened Satan, he did. Swave members are known to show no fear of Satan or his demons. This lack of fear comes from Swave members' knowledge of the holy battle where the archangel Michael defeated Satan and cast him to earth. Having already conquered the devil, the Swave know that they can do it again. Rick Dedan's Hellraiser video is riddled with Swave symbolism, from the angel's place throughout the music video to Rick Dedan's timepiece being set to 7 o'clock. Even so, Rick Dedan's Swave connections go back decades. Thank you, Father, for understanding my problem. In 2011, Rick Dedan released a heartfelt song thanking God for understanding that he wasn't perfect. Here, he confesses his biggest fear. Listen. I'm a candle in the rain, my lifestyle put me out. My fears get in the heaven, God putting me out. Later in the music video, in true Rick Dedan fashion, he hurls a striking diss towards Satan. Listen. In 2012, 
Rick to Don doubled down on the Swave symbolism. See if you can catch it. Watch. I'm getting dope. I ain't talking about cake, my watch is on stupid. I ain't talking about great. Can you see it? The Red Angel. Many Christians believe that Seraphim, the Red Winged Angels, are among the first hierarchy of angels next to the throne of God. According to the book of Isaiah, they had six wings, one pair for flying, another covering the face, and the third pair covering the feet. Later in the music video, another angel can be seen for a split second. End the story, I win, sit down, this is glory, to jet. Why would Rick Dodon include such imagery in a rap video? A similar phenomenon can be found in Rick Dodon's 2014 dedication to his mother who died some years prior. The lyrics and imagery throughout the video leave no doubt about Rick Dodon's connection to the Swave. Listen. Tell Jesus I love him and can't wait to see him. Tell Jehovah Jireh I can't wait to meet him. Thank the Holy Ghost and angels too. And my unborn child gotta be about. Here you can see that Rick Dodon walks through a god ray with his arms stretched out. Both forms of imagery are tenets of Swave ideology. In the next scene, for just a split second, and if you look closely, you can see the symbol which represents the Holy Trinity. In Christian doctrine, the Holy Trinity is believed to illustrate the unity of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as three persons in one Godhead. Within the Trinity is God the Father, the Creator and Sustainer of all things. God the Son, the incarnation of God as a human being, Jesus Christ on earth. God the Holy Spirit, the power of God which is active in the world, drawing people towards God. There is no doubt that Rick Dodon is an expert on such doctrine. In 2014, Rick Dodon released the visual for motivational speaker from his Rick Dodon LP album. Until Hellraiser, motivational speaker was easily Rick Dodon's most Swave-influenced music video. It is filled top to bottom with Swave references. After combing through the video, I was able to find the following. One of the first things to stand out was the number of crosses in the video. Check out how Rick Dodon stands underneath this god ray. Noticeably, Rick Dodon references the sky throughout the song. Listen. Hands in the sky, got me soaring through the sky. Likewise, Rick Dodon references flying many times throughout the music video. Listen. You're so fly, I'm so fly, you're so fly. As you might be able to guess, the motivational speaker music video is full of angelic imagery. Yeah, I got me D E V, couldn't stop me. Notice the angel keyboard symbol. See it? Abrahamic religions often depict angels as benevolent celestial intermediaries between God and humanity. Other roles include protectors and guides for humans, such as guardian angels and servants of God. I wanted to give you a quick update on my latest piece, a piece in which I try to accurately draw what Jesus Christ looked like according to scripture. These days, Rick Dodon seems to be expanding his reach beyond the hip-hop world. If you check out his social media accounts, you will find that his many dealings include art, business, and social networking. Take a look at his business logos. Can you see it? Look closer. Each of Rick Dodon's businesses incorporates Swave ideology. Just one visit to Rick Dodon's fashion website, and it becomes abundantly clear he has no plans of slowing down. Speaking of which, if Rick Dodon follows his usual three-year musical release timeline, I expect for him to announce a new album soon. Tell me, did I miss anything? Do you believe me now that I have provided evidence of Rick Dodon's Swave connections? If you found this video informative, share it. As for me, I'll be monitoring Rick Dodon's activity from afar. After all, the signs are everywhere.